Hey everyone, Rodney here at Cleves Tech, and today I have a video I wanted to get out quickly so people would be aware. There was an update to Frame Pack uh, yesterday called Frame Pack F1, which is new model uh, that solves some of the issues with the previous one. Like if you wanted to have a person walking and generate a minute long video of a person walking, they wouldn't actually move. They'd only walk in place, and then for the last few seconds, it would actually make progress. One of the things, instead of generating from the end and moving backwards, this one does the opposite. As seen here in this one, I created the person will now actually be making progress, although she starts walking off the screen. I'm not going to cover everything to do with frame pack because I do have my previous video that covers most of the stuff. Um, so I'm just going to cover real quick the differences and how to get this one working because it doesn't just work by default. Some of the things that might change by the time you view this video. So do double check the GitHub page, make sure nothing's changed because there is some special things you need to do to get this one working. But I have a feeling at some point that's probably gonna change and it'll just work. But I'll show you everything that you need to know. And I'll also show you one other tip. Um, I had a lot of people ask about things like Sage attention and things like that. I'm not going to go walk you through all that. The reason I didn't include it in the last video was because everybody's system's a little different, but I do have a solution for some people if they're interested in that might help them out. Also remember that these tools are more about research and finding new ways of doing things. So don't expect them to be perfect, especially at this early in development. Feel that you're going to see a lot more improvements with this over time. Let's dive right into things. If you look at this, the interface is almost the same. Not much has changed. You will notice up here, it says frame pack F1 now. And another thing you're gonna notice is down here, it looks a little bit different because it doesn't have the same message down here. Other than that, most everything else is the same. There hasn't really been anything changed for the most part. Everything pretty much works the same as I covered in my previous video. Now, I haven't tested this with every different scenario that I've tested the previous one with, but I will say overall, I'm getting far better performance out of it. Certain things work better than others. Like one thing I do have is what I thought was interesting as I tried um, this video here in the ocean swimming. And one thing I do notice is when you have the photorealistic styles, it definitely changes everything changes the style and everything as time goes by because it does keep slowly shifting from the original image. So you're gonna lose a lot of that. Now this one, the hand stayed pretty decent, but a lot of the other stuff definitely changed in here. I did find it interesting that it actually, it could, I thought it was gonna end here and not do anything, but it was interesting that towards the end, it even still, still keep adding new things and changing things. We have the wreath over there. We have other stuff showing up. This prompt was mostly just a person swimming under the ocean. Um, I didn't get too detailed with the prompt. And that's another thing I noticed. If you add some more details with the prompts, you can get things to be added to the videos. Um, so that was one of them. Uh, another one I did just to, cause these are the ones I had a big issue with was like the walking ones. As I said, they would walk in place or cars would sit in place unless it already had like um, blur blurs to indicate motion. A lot better performance than I saw out of the previous one. Perfect example here. The person would never walk, but now they actually do walk. Although you still do get some of the changes over time. Um, so there does need to be improvements there because obviously it's where it's doing it in sections. It's it seems like it's slowly shifting or or. I don't know what you want to call it, but I have a feeling that sort of stuff is going to improve over time. I will include some links here because this will actually have the instructions on what to do. He's got a discussion thread in here. And like I said, if you're watching this video a little bit later date, this might have changed and you may not even have to do any of this because he does mention it'd be easier if they're just updating the package directly. The single directional model is less constrained than the bi-directional default model that previously was there. As they say, F1 means forward version one, representing its prediction direction, which is forward instead of the actual, the previous one, which went started from the back um, and worked its way forward. If you haven't installed frame pack or anything, definitely watch my previous video because that does cover most of the stuff that has to do with getting everything up and running. Uh, I'm only going to cover a couple minor things here on how to get the latest update working. This is going to assume, like I said, that you already have everything installed. 
Okay, so we're in our folder now that you had installed, or if you had a fresh install, that's what I have here. It's completely fresh install. The first thing I'm gonna do is hit the update button, make sure everything's up to date. And since this was just downloaded and a fresh install, it wasn't. But as you'll notice here, some new changes. It's got the new uh, Gradio F1. So that's what we're looking for in here. Once that's been done, we don't wanna run it yet because if we hit the run, before doing anything else, we're still going to use the previous version. Um, you won't see that frame pack F1 up at the top of the screen. What we need to do next is, and this is for Windows if you're using this on Linux or whatever, follow my links. They have the instructions on what you need to do. All I'm going to do is on this page here, which I'll have a link in the description. And like I said, double check GitHub, make sure this hasn't changed because he does plan on, I think, including it all in there. So we're gonna go down and all we need is to just copy this one here because we just need that line right there. And then we're gonna go into our run.bat file. We can right click, go to edit, open it in your notepad or whatever. This line right here is what we need to replace. You could just, add the um, underscore F1, but I'm just gonna paste it in there. So it's pretty much the same thing as what was in there before, but you'll notice the difference now is this part of the file, demo underscore radio underscore F1. So that underscore F1 is the only thing that's really been changed here. And that tells it to launch the F1 version of it. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll save that. And now, we can go ahead, hit run. Now, the first time you do this, if you've already set this up, since like I said, it is another model, it is gonna have to go through and download those models again, um, or the new models, and they are gonna take up space on your hard drive again. So do keep that in mind. And looks like we're all set here. So as you can see, everything here is downloaded. And as we can see here, we have the interface that I had up and running before. And same idea, you just drop your images in there. So we'll go ahead and just like before, everything else is the same, um, your video length. Start that and it is pretty much the same as it was before. But like I said, the difference is it starts working at the beginning of the video. So the first frames you see are the beginning frames, whereas with the previous version, the first frames you started seeing were towards the end and it would slowly work its way back. Um, and on that version, when you created like a walking video, let's say this one here, the first 95% of the clip would be just walking, but walking in place and not making any progress. Whereas this one, she actually walks, makes progress. Um, the colors do shift and change. That's one of the issues. I mean, you do see it in there a couple of times. And I see that with a lot of the ones. Ones I didn't see it with are definitely something like this style. Much better there. Now the key is on this video is to keep her centered instead of have her, you know, I'll be going ahead and trying that. But I will say overall is huge progress on this and for videos like this, this style, it seems to work really, really well. Um, they do, it does start to change after you know, a little bit once you get a little further along. So that's it for the new update. Next, I'll show you a tip on getting things like Sage Attention installed using the, an automatic tool that someone created on GitHub. Uh, I do wanna thank you for watching this. And if you found it useful, please hit the like button. And if you want, you can also donate a cup of electricity to help. Okay, and if you're curious what these are, is when you first launch it, if you see the things up here that say anything's installed, really Sage Attention is what you want. That's probably the best one. That's fine to use just that. My understanding, it just uses whatever is the best and that's what it prefers, I guess, I don't know. But anyways, it, that's what this is gonna cover is how to get those installed if yours doesn't say it. It gives you a speed boost, but it does potentially negatively affect the output of the video a little bit. I didn't walk through that on a lot of the other ones because everybody's computer is a little bit different because it's pretty hard to cover. But there is this discussion um, under the issues here. I will uh, include a link and it this person has created a package, an installer that will walk you basically do everything for you and get all that stuff set up.
I'm going to walk you. I'll show you how to really first do that. First, you just go ahead, download the package installer. This might change by the time somebody else watches this. So just keep that in mind. I'm using what's currently on here right now. And that's this package installer V3. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it in here. There's these two folders and the bat file. So you can just copy those. We're going to go into our installation here, which is my new one. Now, they do recommend from what I read here is you do this on a fresh install. Like you literally just extracted it, haven't run it yet or anything like that. Um, so I basically just extracted this and I got the frame pack, you know, folder. Basically, I downloaded frame pack. Went in, here's my folder. I'm just gonna paste those files and everything in here. So I should have this set up in here. Now before running anything else, I'll go ahead and just hit this. Now that's gonna bring this up here. This tells you everything that it's gonna do. And as I said, I can't guarantee anything on this if it's gonna work or not. Somebody, what somebody had set up on there and it seems to work pretty well. I did test it. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit any other key to continue. Okay, and everything should be all set at that point. Okay, now once that's done, um, I can go ahead and delete those because I don't need those anymore. And we're all set. Then you can go ahead and do your update and do everything else that I showed previously to get yourself up and running with the other stuff. So you'll have to go through do update then run this, uh, well, change the bat file to run it um, with the new commands that I showed before, and you should be up and running. Remember, this, this was a new fresh install, so don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.